The first step asks you to imagine a familiar walk located within your childhood. And that was the first difficulty. There was, there is no walk of any reasonable length, place or regularity associated with my childhood. We never walked anywhere, always in cars. Yes, I've always known how little we, uh, being in a certain class, uh, walk in urban India, unless it is to actually ex take exercise. The walking experience is just not part of our social classes' lives in the city. While walking in any city in Europe, we take for granted. Agreed, walking along the streets of Calcutta is far from a pleasurable experience. It's more like a hurried, harried obstacle course than anything else, with the danger of getting run over or pushed aside if one pauses for anything. But not to have any memory of a childhood locality walk also points to the severe lack of safe and hospitable spaces to walk in. There really wasn't any neighborhood park. There still isn't in that area. But of course there was there is the vast green Maidan just, just a stone's throw away. Which then brings me to habit. And uh, how we consider distance depending on who we are, where we live. What do we mean when we say hatapot, walking distance? What does that communicate to who in terms of time and actual mileage? For middle class, upper class Calcutans, a square mile generally would not be considered walking distance. And now I consider how much walking, deliberate conscious walking is part of my practice as a dancer and choreographer. Looking down at the grass on the green verge that lines the canal on which we now live, I suddenly realize that this is reclaimed land. I am marking out flat 301, my childhood home, on reclaimed land where my current home of nearly 40 years stands. No not reclaimed land. How do you claim or reclaim something that was never yours to begin with? This is land stolen from the marshes, the salt marshes that give this township its name, Salt Lake. A space of refuge for refugee camps during the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War. It is now an upmarket, green, planned township. Originally on the fringes of Calcutta, the city now actually surrounds it. More so-called reclaiming, more stealing, more creating land where land was not. As I mark out my diagram here in this little oasis of green in a mad, lonely mad city, the flat, the hallway, the main stairs, the service stairs I always avoided, the lifts, the driveway, more geographies become clear. The large house next door with a garden of trees that reached over into our third floor balcony. No longer there. The little convenience store, Mudit Dukan, at the end of the driveway. No longer there. And the yearly monsoon floods, now held at bay with the city's improved drainage. But not conquered. Always coming back. How much longer before the original owner returns to claim it all as her own.